All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and it is time for Simplex 4010 Test 11 L Series. Why is it L Series, you ask? Because I finally got my hands on a System Sensor Red L Series horn strobe. This is a two wire multi candela multi tone horn strobe. This is set on code 3 mechanical horn at 30 candela. We might as well continue with the notification appliances. So over here is the System Sensor Spectra Alert Classic 1575 Candela Horn Strobe set at strobe only because I want the only horn sounding to be that guy so you can actually hear what it sounds like because it's different from both the Classic and the Advance and I kind of like it. Same Classic remote sealing strobe in there. Same smoke in here. We're not going to be doing anything with that today. Up here is the same uh, smoke heat. We will be actually heat testing it today. It is set at 135 degrees for the temp. Because it is a smart uh, heat detector, you can actually go into the panel and tweak what temperature you actually want it to go at. It's not a fixed temperature kind of thing. Like It can actually be manipulated of what temperature you want through the panel. So I have it set at 135 candela. If we keep going down, over here is the... Oh, what is this? This is the Notifier BNG-1R pull station. Same key switch over here. We will be pulling and key testing this pull station today, and we are not doing anything with this key switch. We will be key uh, testing that key switch in there. If we go over here, it's my Gamewell, uh, my new Gamewell Century. I have the model number written down. It's like M64 something. I'll have to go look at that real quick. We will be pulling this today. Same button and door holder. We will be using the door holder today. The game well is an M46 28, by the way. M46 28. Over here is my advanced uh, pull station. It's like 5600 Oh, I'm totally blanking out on the letters. Uh, again, I'll have to go look. Sorry. Got a lot of pull stations and stuff to memorize. I got most of them down. So we'll be pulling this guy today. Here's a System Sensor Mass Remote Strobe 1575 Candela. That's just a strobe. It's chilling out over here. Over here's another key switch. We're not doing anything with that today. And then the enunciator is the same enunciator. And we will be, we'll be using that a couple times today. So without much further or without just... We're going to start. Forget I said anything. Let's start. So we put a silence in the panel, and while we're here, why don't we, what should we do? Let's pull the advanced pull station, why not? Let's do that. we have a system silence in the panel. We will go ahead and reset the two pull stations that we pulled. Grab my notifier key. And then over here we will reset the advanced pull station. And then we can put a reset in the panel. By the way, that advanced pull station that is a 5600-005 ADV pull station. Um, I have every model number and stuff listed down as a sheet for each test next to 
each panel so that way I'll, I will always have model numbers for you guys because model numbers are fun. It's really humid down here um, so the doors have actually swollen just a little bit so they kind of stick now when the fire door closes which is kind of funny. We got a system reset complete in the panel so we might as well come over here and pull the game well. Here we go. Oh god, this pull station is a pain to reset one-handed. And we will put a system reset into the panel. Strobes are continuing to flash. Actually, I might as well show you something real quick. Whilst the panel is resetting, I added a new um, thing to my wiring system. There's two light switches up here now. One labeled as IDNet and one labeled as NAC4. So that way, when I'm doing service on the panel, I don't have to go in here and like unscrew stuff and risk shorting anything because of wire of loose wires touching so if i want to shut off my id net channel to do service i just flip the switch and if i need to shut off my NAC 4 to do service i just flip the switch NAC 1 is really simple i just have to undo two wires NAC 4 was a whole bunch of wires so those were my two that i picked i thought i might as well show you that while the panel is resetting so let's actually get to heat testing this now uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a normal on the panel. We're going to grab a hair dryer. And then we'll go until it trips. And then I'll show you on the panel. It will show you like the peak temperature got up to and everything. It's, it's actually kind of cool. So let's do this. Went so much faster before. That, there it goes. Okay. That's actually hot. So that cools down. I will show you real quick the whole peak value thing. So we're going to go to our heat detector that tripped. We're going to hit enter. You'll see it says that it was the heat component of M5. And so it says everything's normal. So it says the present sensitivity is 135 degrees. You can hit enter and you can change what sensitivity you want the device at, and you can see the highest temperature that it got to, uh, or no, sorry, the current temperature that it is, you see it's dropping. So the temperature's dropping, and then the peak value was 255 degrees. So you can actually watch as the device is cooling down, you can see the temperature dropping. It's a it's like a, it's not an actual like degree value as this, it's a degree over degree. I don't really know why it does that. Um, but you can actually watch it drop. So we just wait for it to drop a little bit and then we can reset. My guess, don't quote me on this, is that um, it hit the rate of rise feature and so the rate of rise is 140 degrees per 111 degrees 
would be my guess. Don't quote me on that. Um, let's see, how's it feeling? Ah, it's still pretty hot. Let me blow on it real quick, cool it down. It'll probably give me a trouble. Yep. <laughs> it changes zero per every negative 40 degrees. All right, there we go. Let's throw a reset in the panel and see if it will reset. I think it's cool enough now. Uh, yeah, so that was a little demo of the heat detector function on a simplex panel. I think I'll make its own video on it because, frankly, it's kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll do that. So we just wait for it to reset. Alrighty, um, let's go key test the switch in here. Ah, gosh darn it, I just rammed the door right over my toe. Wow, that really hurt. Okay, all in the name of fire alarms, I guess. Golly, that was really super painful. Ouch. It closes with such a stupid thud now because of the humidity. Ugh. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. So, I think that that concludes our test today. It was a little longer than normal, but, you know, we always have fun. So... Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.